Squad Nation cast. Squad Cast live fucking cast the Zoom cast. Who's That's in the right. building? Justin Yurko is in the fucking building. Yo. I think that he might be in the Yurk Out Center. <laughs> it's awesome. I see, I see him. I see him. I think he's training in real time. Why we out here? We see that is else. a beautiful thing. A lot of heavy hitters. Let's see here. All right, we got. We got, let me see, is Queens in the fucking house? I think Queens is in the fucking house. What's up, guys? Yo, what's up, my brother? Yo. There he is. There he is. Beast what's Coast up? in the what's flesh. What's up, brother? In what's the up, flesh. I How think you guys we're, doing? Good, man. I think we're looking at Justin Yurko's ceiling, maybe? I see a beverage receptacle and his ceiling. Nice. All right, let me see. Hold up. We're going to see who else we can get in here. Let me see. Let me see. All right. All right. All right. What's the word, Antonio? Not much. I'm, I'm there he is. I, There's Mr. Greaves. All right, my fault. Go ahead, Antonio. Shirt. What's up, bro? What's up? This is wild already. It's already wild. G-Code Nation. G-Code Nation showing up. All right, let's see. Let's see who else we got here. Mr. Gra I see some people are actually live from their home gyms. There's two gentlemen oh, right now. I wish. I Just swear. rubbing it in. There's two, I gentlemen, wish. two gentlemen right yeah. now with, with well-appointed home gyms, well-curated home gyms. I, 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 John Greaves, since since you're like a, since you're like a, a, like what's the word for you? You're like out in the wilderness spreading the word on home training. Oh, you're prophet. Like one, you're a prophet. You're certainly a prophet. Yes. And have you, as as like one of the true proponents of that lifestyle, have you seen Justin Yurko's home gym? That he is. I just saw it. That he's essentially. What's up, brother? He's, <laughs> esen <laughs> he's essentially pieced together like a Bev Francis's gym in his house over That's quarantine. That's cool. That's cool. Gym in town. It is the best gym in town. It's literally the best gym in town. Yeah, I, I saw it like a week ago. I think a week ago. Had this awesome picture of you with your little girl, man. And I was like, that is so cool. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah thank you, thank it's you. It's insane. Yeah, that's more difficult to pull off in Queens, Antonio. That's more difficult to pull that's, off. I, I work out in my room with a few dumbbells. That's hey, it. man, that's it, though. That's what it's all about. Same here, brother, man. It counts. That's, fine. that's it. Well, yeah, that's the best gym in town, too. That's right. That's right. Wherever you're at, right? Custom tailored for you. That's right. All right, we got another heavy hitter coming on board. He's, he might be live from his basement gym as well. Crazy. His, his garage gym. There's a lot of garage gym advocates out here. A lot of guys have seen the light. Yeah. All right, let me see. Are you guys going back is what I'm wondering. Like, you know, a lot of, like, a lot of people put a lot of money into their gyms, you know, their home gyms the last couple months. Is that coming out of the monthly gym expense? You know, I mean, John, I know, John, do you belong to a gym? Because I know you're like the, the, the garage gym connoisseur and like the leading spokesman for the whole movement in many ways in my eyes. And uh, so I wonder, like, do you belong to a gym or is it all at home for you? I own a gym. I'm in it. Yeah, there you go. That's right. You're a gym owner. No, awesome. um, I, I have never had a public gym membership. Wow. Ever. Because I started working out in college in 93. And then my first job after college was working for a gym. So I didn't have to have a membership. I just worked out there because I worked there. And then yeah. when I left that to get a job uh, in the corporate world, I just started working out at home. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've never had that. And for anybody that wants to go back to the public gym, because this isn't for everybody. You know, you got to have like a certain temperament. Um, and also a certain lifestyle. Your lifestyle has to support being at home. Right. So, if, you know, I think that you got to go where it fits you and your needs, you know? At the yeah. same time, uh, let me know if you want to sell something. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like you're going you back, what, like, let me know if you want to sell something. Man, I, got, I, like a, I live in a tiny place, man. So I got, like, this little, like, uh, collapsible bench so I can move it in and out when I need it, you know? And yeah. uh, just getting weights and dumbbells and everything when all this started and, do and throughout, the, the price 
The, the market is crazy. Like, Justin, I can't imagine what you spent, Jericho, during this time. Because I know you probably left no stone unturned. You probably drove, like, six hours to get, like, a 20-pound dumbbell or an 80-pound dumbbell or, you know, whatever you needed. Um, man, I've just been watching those prices. Like, anybody who had a stockpile of weights made some money unloading their inventory. For you know? sure. For sure. Equipment equipment. I kind of fun. Oh, even more. I just lived on marketplace. You're cutting out in and out a little bit, Justin, on my end. But uh, Face Facebook marketplace, man, Facebook is, marketplace. Yeah. is like there's a huge Flip markup, it. man. There's a markup I on everything. It. That used to be my spot. Facebook marketplace used to be my spot, and now it's just like, man, it's like uh, – uh, 80 pound dumbbells for $550. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, it's like, you, it's insane. Like one of the last places I went before we like went deep underground for all this madness, like we were in like a Target and uh, they had one 40 pound dumbbell. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah, you told me that one and dumbbell. I was like, I'm not, like I, I, I needed 40 pound dumbbells. I'm like, I'm not going to buy one, man. I'll be able to find a set. Forget this. It was like, it was like 40 bucks for the 40 pound. <laughs> like a week, like a week later, it was like $200 for a 40 pound. <laughs> and you couldn't find a set anyway, you know. I see, uh, there's a lot of heavy hitters showing up here. I see there's, uh, I see John Carp in the building. What up? South Jersey's up, finest. I see Thomas Monk, Connecticut's finest in the building. I see yeah, Steve, Steve Scalia, who's another guy who over the course of a, a, a couple months has put together like a beautiful home gym. I see Christian Coronado, who's on the road right now. Shout out Always to Christian on the Coronado. road. I, I saw the big Asian. Is that the big Asian? Yeah. That's the beautiful big Asian. He's got, he's got his face mask on and everything. Mask on and everything. He's not Amazon gonna... is hiding. What's, hiding. Great, what's great is that he won't, uh, we, none of us will be potentially contaminated uh, by the big Asian. So that's amazing. So that's incredible. I see Joe Schwartz in the building. Shouts. I see my brother Joe Schwartz in the building. Anasan, do you have a bulletproof vest on? <laughs> You're hold muted. On. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to try to unmute this kid. Hold up. Let me see. Ask to <laughs> unmute, it said. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. There he is. What <laughs> in the world? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm in the freezer suit right now, bro. Uh, and from work. I was going to say, man, you're looking very 2020 with a mask and a bulletproof vest on. No, it's not, man. You're I'm ready trying for to everything. Like I'm trying to look at like that G unit, bro. <laughs> 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 the G, G unit tank top? Yeah, man. You remember those? <laughs> of course, of course. Those I, square bodies? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Where? I, Frenchie's Gym. Frenchie's Gym in Brooklyn. It used to have Frenchie's Gym, like G unit style tank tops. Dude, I, re I remember when that was like back in Brigham Team Fitness days, bro. It is. You're right. Absolutely right. Absolutely yeah, right. When, when I used to clown the people who wore those. <laughs> <laughs> I see Nicole Swole in the building. Of, of, of Instagram fame, Nicole Swole in the building. I see, I see the unbroken rhino in the building with a lustrous beard. Yeah. Lustrous. What's going on, Jake? Beard. What's going on, my <laughs> wow. Look at that thing. Joe Schwartz in the house from 5% Nutrition. <laughs> Joe Schwartz, we won't tell anybody that you're a heavy hitter from 5%, but you're hanging out on the back yeah, side. I, I guess I'm the outcast, right? <laughs> no, the opposite, bro. We're honored <laughs> to have you here. All right, I see. I see Nick's iPhone. Is that Nicholas Lepore? I wonder what Nick that might yeah. be. He was trying. He said he was trying to get in, but couldn't get in. But he's the he's the he's the technological expert, though. He's supposed to know all this stuff. <laughs> on, I, I well, I waited for like a couple minutes to get it added too. I don't know if it's like a private thing or something. Yeah, there's like a waiting room, so I have to like go Where? and ma manually let people in. Look at all these pretty faces. I know. It's a lot I missed of... all your faces. Oh, <laughs> no, for real. How's everybody real. doing? You know. Good. How are you doing? You know. Hey, man. Actually How's hitting the road doing? tomorrow, heading out to Ohio. Are you? Nice. Yes. Nice. Oh, you're, are you going to, uh, to Vince's Muscle Shops event? Yeah, that's right. Wow. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Dude, John Carp, what are you doing? I'm, Wait, I'm cooking, bro. I got the grill on. About the <laughs> Angus, grill. I'm throwing about the Ang throw these Angus New York's on. That's what's oh, up. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. We're going to need about 40 of them. Yeah. Come yeah. right. yeah. on yeah. over, guys. I got a big yeah. jack. Let's go. <laughs> Gee, you're not going to want to see what I'm about to eat, bro. Oh, no. 
What, what is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? Let me show you real quick. Let's see, big guy. Hi. Hey. Hi. Yo, bro. Hi. Hi. Oh, man. <laughs> what you got bon- there? Is that, is that bon- a bon- 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 <laughs> yeah. son. Come on, man. What's up? <laughs> Killing us, bro. Killing me. The That's not Asian, right. I, I've noticed that the big Asian has been flexing more and more online from a culinary perspective. And there's always yeah, something man. delicious. Are, are, you, are you doing is all that homemade stuff? Yeah, all that stuff wow. I make at home. Dude, you just became an even more eligible bachelor. Man, yeah. Whatever, Doug. Yeah, I always said this, man. Don't rely on other people to feed no, you, bro. No, oh, I agree, man. I, was, I see all this beautiful stuff, and I'm like, wow, is he making yeah, himself? Bro. It's incredible. It's incredible, yeah. bro. Just, just, yo, yeah, man, learning from uh, my sister and my mom, you know, bro. Of course, man, of course. No, learning from the best. Uh, we, ain't, no. we, ain't, we ain't got restaurants like, you know, like You've my been man doing John Carp here. You've been doing that for a minute. Come on, we man. ain't like John Carp here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> John Carp's guys brought the restaurant to his backyard right now. Yeah, I know, right? Nicole Swole, how is your diet going? Oh, oh God, it's going. I see. Man, I, I, just, I just fucked it up for her. I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. Let me know where I did. pick up. <laughs> how many weeks out? <clears throat> how many weeks out, Nicole? Christian asked. Oh, uh, seven. Is that is that confirmed? Are you in Jersey? Yeah, T-neck. I'm all ready for it, but who knows it? My first show's got canceled already, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I knew that. Damn. I was told not to get my hopes up, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it's a crazy thing. I, I see, you know, obviously the Olympia is pushed back till December 16th, I believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, and, you know, I, I had uh, my brother Raw McGraw reach out and he's like, yo, are you going to the Olympia? I'm like, is there an expo? Uh, yeah, I've like, seen you know, yeah, the the next thing. I don't even know if that's like a thing. Yeah, you know yeah the expo is happening. Yeah, they made dates for that already. No, I know. There's a, I, there's a yeah, show, but is there, a, is there an expo? Well, here's the thing, yeah, too. Yeah, I don't know. There's an expo. That's no, there is an The thing about the Olympia, if you look at the Is there going to still be an expo? They, they literally yeah. pick the last possible date of 2020 that yeah. isn't Christmas or isn't New Year's. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they pushed it as far as they possibly could, but they probably did that thinking, like, they have no idea what's going to be going on by then. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. Right. So, they're, they're going for it, and they're trying to have a 2020 winner, but, you know. Right. You think about it, like, it was only, like, 90 days ago, the, like, when the Arnold was supposed to happen, like, 90 days. <laughs> How long ago, like, things were pretty normal in most right. places. What, then it's tough to see more, you know, what's 90 days from now? What's 190 days from now? Like, it's, it's tough, you know? A lot has happened. Well, we, there's talk. Right. I'm sorry, schools may not even start back up in the fall. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Like, that's oh, what I'm dealing with right now. And, uh, like, I talked to my admin <laughs> last week, and they're like, can't give you an answer. Just be ready. Right. No, I know it's crazy. It's crazy so, times. We we don't know what to you know as far as the girls going back to school. Like we don't even know. Like we don't even know what to make of any of it. You know, and and you know a perfect example in terms of the industry and and the trade shows. We uh we took part in the the first um New York Fitness Expo that was in Albany last year, and it was great. But it was in January in Albany, and there was snow, right? And it was it was awesome no matter what. But the guy was a little gun shy about putting it at the same time this coming year. So he's like, I'm going to do it in the fall instead to cover my ass. I'm going to do it in November. Now I've already seen that he's pushing it back to 2021. So it's like, I feel like, I feel like everybody is trying to build in those couple extra months of buffer to try to play with, to figure out how to execute this stuff. Cause nobody, you know, it's like, everything's a day at a time. I see Derb alone. Yo, Derb alone in the building. I see you, my he's friend. There. Yeah, we're out here, man. Checking it, just getting that freshy. You know, we gotta do. We gotta do. Oh, off, off, off the good haircuts. Oh, yeah. it's looking good. It's looking Premium. good right there. That's Barbara Burks right there. I, dude, there's. Well, I, I always get it confused with your with your boys. I get it twisted because there's Barbara Burks and then there's Baby Bergs, and they're both yeah. and they're both barbers. Baby Bergs, yeah, they they work in different shops, pretty close to each other. 
But this was my only chance to get a haircut, and I had to wait a little bit. So that's where we are, where we are. You look well, we do have head. some fresh heat. Got some little frosted tips going on. <laughs> Still has some frosted tips a little bit. Is that Lance yeah, you see that? <laughs> slowly, slowly. Is that Lance Bass? Look at that fade, though. Ooh, man. I, I'm Ooh. jealous. I am absolutely jealous. You're looking good, my friend. I looking got an really email good. from my barber explaining like their new protocols explaining how to cut your own hair yeah <laughs> tell me to go fuck myself uh, <laughs> what hair cut they won't cut beards anymore they said no beard cuts and it's like one at a time and you have to wait outside in your car and they sure. call you in sure so uh we'll see man I don't well know. you know i mean in my in my like experience in life just in general in terms of barber shops it's always better off to have an appointment yeah, as opposed to the places where you just show up and you're sitting there for three hours and you want to kill yourself, like having an appointment's not bad. So like that's not the worst thing necessarily, right? Look at Nicole. What's Nicole? I feel like Nicole is just doesn't want. She can't eat what she wants to eat. I feel so bad. Right? It's terrible. Well, Dermot Malone, are you dying? My man Rhino's in the building. Dermot Malone, are you dieting for forty days and forty nights, Dermot Malone? Because you should be feeling a little bit of that pain as well. No, dude, I have been you know what i've been doing i've just been putting the only thing that's been going on that grill is a nice select piece of meat and some veggies all right that's it just throw everything on the grill let it go we're running back to the seafood it's seafood it's the seafood time seafood season it is seafood season i'm at the point where i'm at the point where i like unfollow nick every other day like I can't see the shit anymore. Yeah. I can't do it. He's he's living he's living the life. He's living the life. N Nicholas Lepore is living the life. That's there he is. JG three in the building. JG. My man Rhino's yeah. in the building over here. Look at this guy. I want to see the hair. I want to see the Dirt Malone hair. Oh, it's looking good. His hair is looking sharp right now. What? I would like to. I see. I know he's wearing the signature hat. I want to see the hair. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. Now, I, I saw, I posted a video. I don't know if you guys saw, but William Petrenchik, the, the, uh, the rat deads. Those yeah. were some, those were some, um, those were some uh, technical, uh, like, uh, what am I going to say? Entirely above board. Oh, I would dare I say mainstream <laughs> rat deads that you were doing there. Huh? Trying. Yeah, I was trying. It was just my leg mostly. Without doing a brace, it totally changes everything for me. I can imagine. But so, so you, but you did those uh, just uh, standing up on your own too. Yep. That's pretty awesome. Uh, man. Awesome. That's pretty oh, wow. remarkable. <laughs> that is yeah, no joke, dude. Thing, but I got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was awesome, man. As soon as I saw that, I was all fired up. I was like, oh, that's yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, it was your walk that inspired it. So sometimes, it yeah, sometimes. It, you know how it is. Sometimes it's like uh, sometimes I have something planned, and then sometimes it's just I'm I'm in a, I'm in a mood, and I gotta just let it rip. You know what I mean? So that's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, it worked. Help me out, man. That's beautiful, <laughs> bro. I'm happy to hear that. Christian Cor Christian Coronado. Yeah. How are you, my friend? <laughs> you how, know. How's how's everything, man? I know you got long days, tired. man. Are you are you uh, you just wrapping up from cooking all day? Yeah, I'm tired. And I and here and here I am and here I am like hey bro why don't you come and talk and be, be personal nah, and hang out good. I'm always down I'm always I know down. you are you're a gamer how's uh, my food got delivered nice and hot this time is great see yes. that see I didn't that? Have, fresh, I didn't even have to warm it up I just ate fresh it right out the me. oven it's amazing fresh out the oven that's amazing bro everything's good man it's good it's just you know I need some normalcy yo you know? man everybody does everyone does anymore. Right? Everybody does. I mean, you know, you, there, there's like, uh, there's like, it's, it's, we're teased with normalcy every day, I feel like. There's like, you know, life yeah. feels somewhat more normal every day, you know, and yeah, it does. Mean, the, the world, the world's chaotic, but in terms of, in terms of right. trying to deal, in terms of trying to deal with this virus, and even that's a day at a time, because who knows what things are going to look like a month from now, but, yeah. you know, how's, uh, How's everything going? Like I, I know that you were doing the, the free the free meal program through through yep. uh, Coronado's Clean Cuisine. Are you still you guys still doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We awesome. still got that. We started donating some to some uh, local businesses. small businesses. I saw that man. Just uh, I don't know, man. Just trying to do anything we can just to keep helping. You know, of course. so many biz. You know, so many places are just struggling, and 
you know, maybe it won't get him out of the hole, but hopefully it'll help a little. Oh, man, it's, it's yeah. a remarkable thing, man, a remarkable thing. Uh, Joe Schwartz, I wanted to talk to you, man, because you're, you're like, uh, you're so uh, hooked into the industry. I feel like you got your finger on the pulse at all times. Like, yeah, so what's going what, on? What do you see in, a, in terms of, like, gyms and, and uh, supplement stores and, and places reopening, places coming back to full capacity? What are you noticing? What's the trend that you're seeing? So, you know, it's kind of like state by state, like here in PA now. Uh, we basically just gave the proverbial finger to our governor, and so now everything's just opening up. Awesome. Okay. And uh, it seems like nobody really cares anymore. Right. Uh, I'm heading out to Ohio, like I said, tomorrow, so we'll see what that's like. Right. Uh, New York's a mess. Right. Not only the five boroughs and everything, but you know, talking to Buffalo the other day, and they're still in complete shock uh, and locked down. And right. They're still trying to figure things out. So basically, that 95 corridor is a mess. Yeah. The further you go out west, it's a little okay. bit better. It just depends right. on um, who's controlling and who's at the wheel. Right, 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 right. Yeah, once you go out west until you get to Cali, what – what are you thinking the, about the Olympia? Are you thinking that there's going to be a, an expo? And you, you I haven't heard anything about the expo. Usual? Me neither. That's a funny it. thing. But, you know, I'm actually wondering how the athletes are going to deal with this because you figure if they're going to go wait until December to do the, the Olympia, then how's that going to affect the Arnold if there's an Arnold? Right, right. And, and, you know, the thing I was thinking about the Olympia, too, is that, like, you know, you can pull off a bodybuilding competition. If you think about it. If you really yeah. bring it down, like, you can yeah. pull it off – Keeping everyone come, separated, come join. minimal staff, you know, you can execute that. I could see of, of all competitive sports, I could see you being able to pull that off safely, even even if, like, you know, things are in a state of flux. But those, all those guys still have to get there. Well, then that is, you know, they have to travel from the or you actually have people in the, in, the, in the auditorium, too. You know, how, how's know. that going to be handled? I don't know. And you got to have insurance, too, for the event. Like, I, I know, like, well, that's one of the issues – I'm sure for like that New York Expo you're talking about, Greg, yeah. is having a venue that can, you can play ball with. You know, right. like some of them are handcuffed in ways like where they can't get insured to even have people in the building. You know, like they're trying to retrofit all the sports stadiums for the NFL to go all this crazy stuff now with social distancing. It's tough to, to know what you can do a couple months down the road, you know? No, for sure. Absolutely. It's, it's impossible yeah, right. to know. Right. I see. I is see. It, uh, the help desk the same thing as the uh, technical support. Well, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to figure out who's talking yeah. right now. Was it like a two eight one five eight four? Wait, who's? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think somebody's talking to somebody else. <laughs> All right, my bad, my bad. Second conversation. All right, cool, cool, cool. I see. I see. Nick Lapore has joined Christian Coronado. Is that correct? That is yeah. correct. There they are, the fucking Bash Brothers. Look at these two. <laughs> yeah. I see. I see the Vineland hamburgers. I see the the Vineland uh, buff. The burger buff burgers are sold out already. Twenty four hours. You're a hot ticket, my friend. I know. Even down south, can you imagine? I, I can. I can. I mean, <laughs> Vineland is the sticks, though. Like, I had gotta to talk. Explain. We gotta talk geography here. Vineland is not exactly like, you know, it's not exactly. It's, that's Cum no that's Cumberland. Working. It's Cumberland County. Which is kind of out in the sticks. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. They kinda didn't even know sticks. what a pop up was. I had to explain <laughs> what a pop up was. What, when, <laughs> and then they were mad at him. When, when that, Boy. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. When NASCAR banned the Confederate flags, they were pissed in violence. No. <laughs> That's about right. What I, no, what no, I want to no, know... No, no disrespect to Vineland. We got lots of friends from out that way. I'm just joking. No. What I want to know is, Christian Coronado, you said that you're tired right now, right? Are you always yeah. tired roughly around this time today? Roughly Absolutely. around this time of day? I don't, I don't, I don't know what you... Is that a... Is that a uh... Well, what <laughs> is that I, a the reason I want to know... Yeah, question. yeah. Because, see, I told Greg that I want a rematch from our 2025 bench for reps. Yeah. Because I did oh, so not you do well. You want to go now. I want to go exactly when you're at your most Assistant. exhausted. I'm going to show up. I'm going to drink some vice. I'm going to give you some chamomile tea. And then, and then let's go. Uh, you find right out what days he works. Find out yeah. what days he works. And then uh, schedule it for right after work. Exactly. Like right I there. And I promise you, I'll show up. You don't have to bring anything but yourself. I'll bring the bench to where you are. I, uh, yeah, man. I mean, 
this whole quarantine, I'm tired all the time. So whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no difference, right? It will yeah, like a little, I'm going to take Everything your temperature, is... make sure you feel a little under the weather, and then like, boom, uh, let's go. That'll be the day. Sleepy time, team. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know Dirk Malone was going to unveil something today. I, I, don't know where, I don't know where he's at. He's, he's, gone, he's gone mute on me. He's MIA. I don't know. Is he? He's is working he, on his tips. He might be. He might be. He's he might putting be some sun in him. Touching the sun in. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm living vicariously through his hair. Oh, there he is. Oh, dude, he's in San, San Francisco? Holy shit. He's in San Francisco already. Totally believable. Yeah, oh, totally believable, actually. If he just yeah, if he just texted me this You're morning, muted, like, yeah, we can't hear I'm you. Sorry. So that's all right. Yeah, we're in San, we're San Francisco, man. We're just hanging out, doing what we do. Oh, nice. that's cool. That's why how'd you do that? That's a nice vantage point that you got there. <laughs> that's a nice Last time point. I was in San Francisco was was with Greg and Julia. Julia? Yeah. And uh, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how did you guys like those um quarantine cuisine videos? Awesome. <laughs> Pretty good, right? I was waiting for Laporte to come out with one for like a burger or something like it's that. Coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, he, he said he said I couldn't get it to him in time for the for the for the like May run of them for mayhem. But, yeah, but I that's, said, pro that's proprietary. That's what and I said that that a burger buff quarantine a burger buff uh, uh, prep uh, prep food prep video. Uh, there's like no season for that. That's good at any point. So. Uh, there's no expiration date on that. We'll take it whenever we can get it. So, no. what, what are you <laughs> revealing, Derek? Yo, hold on. I can't. I can't look at Anison right now. <laughs> I <screenshot> this. <laughs> all right. If you let me, hey, if you let me share the screen. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta give him. I gotta give him the. Why don't you get it? I haven't been doing shit. Bro. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I'm Technical difficulties, baby. That's what we do. That's what we fucking do. I am the host. So, where, where's I hear so much feedback on somebody's, somebody's shit? Can you see this? No. We no, I see, <laughs> I see nothing there, Malo. I see a, a, a man. Uh, my name is Anderson. Yeah. It's not working. I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Do, do, you have, do you have the ability to share the screen now? Yeah. I mean, I think yeah, Antonio is kind of messing it up. I got to say. I, I made you the host right now. Antonio Don't blame up. Antonio. It's all you. Uh, Antonio's too Antonio. big over there. Yeah. Antonio. <laughs> uh, let me see. What you got going on there, my friend? Nice. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Mm, looks good. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Is it working or no? I see nothing. No. Nothing. No. 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 No, it's, it's, it's getting oh, yeah. hot. Today is actually uh, below. Make me the host again. See, this is what happens. But, uh, We're known for technical yeah. difficulties. This is what we do. This is how we get down. God damn it. Any, any luck there, Malone? Oh, so yeah. I can't hear this on the phone, man. Shit. S H I T. Oh. Sorry, Riley. Oh. If you're in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Jake. Yo. You're, you fuck with these? I uh, show me, show me. Hold up. Hold up. Let me see. Oh, oh see. You know, all right, he is a victim. Here's the thing. Nicole, I got a month. We got a month, so we got to get this. Good for you. Albert, yeah, all right, Albert so and these, Xavier. Have you had these ones? Store, store mix? Are you, yo, are you guys, are you Ooh. the type who, who eat, this, who eat the, the candy pre-workout? Are you candy pre-workout guys? All right, dude. Anytime. You're the host. <laughs> Anytime of day? I'm not a candy -O -U. No, A-N-O-U. I like candy, but not pre-workout because I feel like I, N, I, uh, it's like just pure sugar. He is an airport. Like yeah. I feel like I'm better off with like a muffin or something because it's got a little something to it. You know well, what I mean? I, 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 ate a, <laughs> I had a peanut butter and jelly. There we go. Well, you do. Do you? I was gonna. I was meaning to ask you. I have a. I have a, I have a technical bodybuilding question for you. 
Yeah, you me know my last name now? Cause I, cause I, it's, it breaks my heart. I hope you can't tell how skinny I am, but I've been, I've been like trying to really clean it up for the past like 15 days or so, right? For 40 days and 40 nights, right? Yeah. And uh, what I was wondering was like, so I've really cleaned it up and my calories are down, um, but I'm trying to incorporate fruit regularly in my diet. Uh, and I, and I know that yeah. you do that, right? That Tuttle does that with you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, you gotta remind me about that. How much? How much free? Like how much in each meal, and how often over the course of the day? I I can have it every single meal if I want. Okay, okay. So it's usually like he 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 has it like every different amount. It's per carb. Um, okay. I'd say it's roughly 15, 20 grams of carbs. Okay. But like for blueberries, it's 200 grams of blueberries. Okay. Like 160 grams of, of, of uh, uh, strawberries. I'm new to the, I'm new to the uh, metric system. So like how many strawberries would that be? Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, 10 strawberries. Okay. Cup, All right. You know, maybe, maybe a cup of, or, you know, three quarters of a cup of blueberries. So that's substantial. That's not nothing. It's a good amount of fruit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. It's a good amount. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. and I, I, uh, no, I, I, man, I, I did that up until uh, like I think two days before na- North of my last show. Right. Every single day I had fun. Wow. Yeah, um, pretty much. Because he he thinks and it does. It helps with digestion. It's sure. you no, know, it's your body utilizes it better. And if you have you know you have whatever, a couple hundred grams of carbs and rice. You know you, you end up. Your mood is affected. You know, so many things are affected. Right. And, you know, fruit, as we know, most people know it's good for you. Right. So, no, of course. Of course. I'm oh, a fan of that. Especially. No, that's awesome. Yeah. And like, Tom, I, like Thomas I, Monk, I know, is a fan of fruit. Huge fan of it. Every day. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, there's so many benefits, just like you were saying, like, yeah. the micronutrient aspect and then, like, just how the body partitions it, like, with – yep liver glycogen versus muscle glycogen and like you were saying it puts you in a better mood because it literally does go right to your brain so it's just like and, and, that alone, and then you know that alone in prep like you get you get fruit and i can have fruit at every meal if i want to like you enjoy it you know smart yeah. smart oh, absolutely. you do something to look forward to it's palatable and like yeah. you were saying yeah. you enjoy it so it makes the whole process 10 times yeah. easier yeah. No, that's awesome, man. Yeah, because like I, I've been, I, I, I've been trying to figure out like you know like the sweet spot for me in terms of like yeah, like because I'll do like uh, I'll do like half a grapefruit with my breakfast, and then I'll yeah. do like some grapes so, like later, later on in the day with the meal, um, yeah. and, and like maybe like bl- or like blend like a banana or blend something in with some feast at one point. And I've been just yeah. trying to, I've been trying to incorporate that because I'm, okay. I'm the type who like. Uh, I got like the skinny boy roots. So like if I if I all of a sudden like I'm real low calorie and low carbs, I'm like I'm, Yeah. I'm, we I come from the same yeah. we come from the same roots. Right, right, right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so But no, so the way Tuttles has it set up, so he has like he gives me six meals. Right. And I can eat any of those meals at any time, or I can have the same meal six times a day. It's just six meals, you do the rest. Right. So realistically, if you want to have fruit, the way he has it set up, if you want to have fruit every meal, you can, you know? Okay. And um, I wouldn't worry, you know, it's, it's one of those things where like, I wouldn't worry about, you know, if you have grapes at every meal, cause you like grapes. Right, right. right. Grapes. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know? I mean, I've always saw, I've always seen the benefit of, of a- like a and you utilizing fruit in their diet. But he's like, and I, I like it. I, I'm the type that, like, even if I'm eating clean, I try to eat fruit. But, like, sure. I realize yeah. that. But for a guy who's doing a, a contest prep, like, I know, like, when yeah. you told me that, I was like, wow, you're able to eat fruit every yeah. meal. I think that's an awesome thing. So that's, I that's think super, And you proved that it could work. So, yeah. Steve. Yeah. No, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, um, <laughs> you do fruit with John, too, don't you? Yeah, me too. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. Mostly do uh, blueberries or blackberries. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Berries yeah, are you, big you, with with Tuttle too, yeah. Yeah, he uh, he usually limits it to the first meal of the day. We usually okay. do um, cream of rice or oats, and then we throw in about fifty to one hundred grams of blueberries based on the day. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's one of those things where like you know you look at Jewett. Jewett's a, a top. He'll be a top three two twelver that believes in fruit. You know that 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 hard, Not even the hardcore mentality. The the wrong ideology that fruit's bad for you. Is, yep, for sure wrong you know yeah, what i'm saying of course you know you don't have to have you know I'm, i don't believe in I, the iifym concept 
Right. But fruit is it's a hell it's healthy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of so of course. Well yeah, and I mean, you know, it's weird because like you like you look back at like the the old school guys in the Arnold era or even like Dorian, like those guys utilize fruit in, in, in their in their diets and it's like but then all of a sudden like it became something that you couldn't do. Yeah, um, like it's bad. You're right, gonna you right. know you're gonna get fat if you have right. fruit. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. big Al, rest in peace. The other day was his his passing day. Yeah, yeah. But I remember at, at the Olympia having fruit and he yelled at me. <laughs> and he's like, You want to get big, you eat cake. <laughs> oh, it was man. like it was I'm, like seven AM. <laughs> I miss <laughs> I miss that dude, man. Yeah. Lessons, man. Those are the lessons yeah. we need. Crazy. Where, what I'll is Dirt? Forget. Somebody tell me what Dirt Malone is doing. What is Dirt Malone doing? Oh, there he is. Dirt went rogue. There he is. All right, we're back. Oh, he's back. We're he back, is back. I just wanted to show oh, everyone. Alicia in the house. Alicia, I see her name, but I don't see uh, her personage. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So this is right. this is the unveiling of the the 2020 40 Days and 40 Nights shirt. That is the front that says consistency is king. Those well, are I gonna guess. drop. Those are gonna drop tomorrow. Uh, on nutrition.com. I don't see shit. I don't see anything yet. Up, up. You, guys, you gotta it? make noise. Can, can you guys see their Wait, arm? Yo, 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 yo. This is the shirt. The back is for <laughs> you. Gotta scroll to dirt. That's actually had that already. Or you can go if you can go to that uh, like multiples. The mul I'm looking at everybody's face on my screen right now. Swipe. If you're on the phone, just swipe left or right. He, uh, dude, he's the he's the technical guru. I knew he would know. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I see, I see, I see. Yep. So okay. So the front the front says consistency consistency is king. Uh, Gco G code nutrition company finding a way since 2017, and then the back has the big, oh Alicia in the house. That's the big 40 <laughs> on it. 40 days and 40 nights. There she is. Hello, Alicia. This is so weird on your phone. <laughs> 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 Is that just like a jump email? Do you yeah. ever check it? No. <laughs> so, so yeah, so some of you guys are joining us via phone, and other people are on, on their laptops. Is it like on, on my laptop? So, yeah. yeah no. I'm gonna say it right now. There's no way that Burger Buff had 365 burgers a day. So I'm just gonna put it out there. If you guys wow. want to challenge it? Wow. That's fine, but it's not. There's no way it happened. All right. Spoken wow. like a true hater. Wow. <laughs> You're just jealous you didn't, you didn't come up with the program. You just gotta shove you just gotta shove the haters off, Nick. That's part of the deal now. That's part of the deal for you that haters are gonna be in your cipher at all times. You gotta just get used to it. Spoken like a true frosted tip pair guy. <laughs> oh yeah. A North Jersey Guido. Uh, got that fresh beard. Look at that beard, man. Let that grow in a little bit, all right? Guido is a racist slur. Uh, <laughs> it is coming from two you know Italian. I know, even though you're Italian. Uh, it would, Nick, I was gonna say you saw those. You saw those Big Macs. I had two Big Macs to the head on Sunday night. I was, I, I, would, I, I had starved myself for about ten days, and I was like, I need this, dude. The Big Macs were absolutely amazing. I, and you I went did. with the McDonald's fries in my. Uh, I did. Post, yep. Right? Yo, oh, you know, dude, I didn't respond to that post, and I meant to. I, I guess yeah, a big Mac, a McDonald's fry is probably the best fry. I would say. Yeah, out of that, yeah. out of that collective. Yeah. No yeah. way. Yeah. Wendy's, Wendy's are better. Oh, go uh, away. Uh, oh. Yeah, but the Wendy's got to be fresh. <laughs> they got to be fresh. I mean, I mean they all, they're all pretty disgusting. Let's be honest. Here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say politics aside, the Chick Fil A, uh, like a waffle <laughs> fry, is pretty yeah. legit. Yeah, but I've never. never legit. You know, I've, G, I've never had Chick Fil A. Yeah, I don't know. Props to you for that. Gee, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find I myself. Why you always teasing me like that, bro? Why you always teasing me like that, bro? JG3 ready to train, man. Look at that. He's ready to go. <laughs> Christian, what were you saying, bro? I'm sorry. I find myself hard. It's harder and harder for me to go there. Yeah, no, of course, man. It's like, you know, it's like one of those things. Yeah. It's one of those things. It's like where, like, where, 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 you know, where are your values lining up and where, yeah. where you draw lines, you know? You know, it was, it was like, I don't know. You know, it was like one of those things you don't really think about, right? But now with everything going on and I don't know, I'm just like, I don't know. 
it's not no. my first choice anymore. No, I, I mean, know. it was it's never it, my first it. choice, but you know what I'm saying? It's hard, hard to go there. No, it's a, it's a quality product, and that's the shame of it. it like, well, that's, it, what's, you know? that's what sucks. The, the food's phenomenal. Wait, you know, what I, do want you... to, I want to consume it. They're super no, anti-gay, essentially. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're very religious. They're closed on Sundays. Apparently, they give money to, like, anti- um, LBQ. What the hell? Foundations. Yep. Yeah. Pronounced barbecue. Uh, go ahead. I don't even know where there's one near me. Like I never. Anti barbecue foundations. <laughs> Bar barbecue. Bar barbecue is coming for you guys. All right. Yeah, we're waiting to do the pickle season, all that stuff. We're waiting. Yeah, that. I've been waiting for pickles for like six years. Easy, hey, easy, easy. This, well, I listen, asked you. I'm in I San Francisco when right now. Together. When I get back, <laughs> when I get back to Jersey, there will definitely be pickles going. The pickle dry aging will be in the full effect. Here's the thing. Six year dry age. I like to point out that that like it's rare that you know somebody who's the best at something. I feel like Dirt Malone makes the best pickle in North America. I, I agree with like, that. Like it's pretty crazy. Up? Yeah, he, no, he make the that's, pickles? That's the, the, oh, he's the pickle baron. His, yeah, no, his pickles he are make, phenomenal. He makes the best pickle that you've ever had. Like, uh, could, uh, this Nicole is Nicole didn't this, know about this. Uh-oh. Nicole Swole, <laughs> this, this isn't me. Let me let me be his hype man, but this isn't me hyping up my boy. He could easily have pickles like at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and like it, like they're they're better than anything you'll ever buy in a jar at a store ever. The green. Nicole, that, that's yes. a fact. They that are could. phenomenal. Am I allowed to have pickles while I'm prepped? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> More yeah, so, there's no, there's no, there's no the pickle is eighty percent water. Okay? Yeah, water work out. In there, you're good. All right, it'll be tone fit. No you need time. more salt. <laughs> yeah, do a pre-workout. There you go. Take a pickle before you take your vice, and you're straight. You're, you're good, good. For, good for the pumps, right? Good no, for look hydration. At this good for hydration. Look at this Shouts to Bobby Kaufman. Bobby Kaufman checking in from hey, uh, from Atlanta, right, my man? Yes, sir. This is nice, so exciting. Man. Nice. There he is. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Thank you. We're just talking shop and dealing with like the different audio technical issues, but that's what we're known for. It's it's on brand, so that's we're fine with that. True. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Um, we appreciate that, man. We appreciate that. Sorry, sorry, I was late. I had a family dinner, but um, oh, it's all good, man. Um, if it makes you all feel better, I had a really terrible date this weekend, and at one point, the girl told me that I was too obsessed with. Uh, Amino acids and G code. <laughs> oh I no! Said, to the curb. I said, "Code oh. Orange has made me feel really good about myself." <laughs> <laughs> oh no, man, yeah, no, we don't, we don't want that. We want to, we want to enhance your life. We don't want to, we don't want to take take people out of your life. We want to bring people into your life. Get rid of her. <laughs> somebody who buys G code. Yes, it's a good yeah. way to vet your <laughs> date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's awesome. Dirt Malone, are you on the grill? Is Dirt Malone grilling? What's he doing there? <laughs> he's warming up the grill. He's got a ch- charcoal going on. Nick Laporte, let him know what he's doing wrong. He's obviously not doing it right. Everything. What is the size of that? <laughs> are, you, are you grilling on the bridge? <laughs> Extreme grilling. Wild. <laughs> Looks like a campfire. <laughs> he's got the real charcoal oh. action going. Hardwood. Is it hardwood charcoal? This guy. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get the bridge in my background. (laughs) Yeah, he's coming to us from San Francisco right now instead of from Paris or... Your mic's off. Vienna. Technical difficulties. Your mic is off there, Malone. I think he's doing it on purpose. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. (laughs) That's all right. (laughs) I said I had a question for JG3. JG3 has been pumping and going on that little thing where he's just like this. Does that really work? (laughs) Oh, the Sanders pepper? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Man, that thing is awesome. So when you first get it, or when you first get it, you're like, why am I going to spend $300 on what's essentially a mattress? And a mattress you just walk on. But it, since I've been using it for probably like three months or so, my right knee, the, I injured my right knee in boot camp uh, in like 2000, and it just gets steadily worse. Since I've been walking on the same new step every day, my knee is feeling a lot better. Uh, I have a friend who has some bad ankles. He's been walking on it, and he said it really opened things up. 
Um, can we? Uh, what are you talking about? Can we see? Zoom in on it. You got it. Zoom in on. Oh, you yeah, want to see it? where's the see? See we're talking about here. There it is. Yeah. So it's uh, uh Joe DeFranco, who I think is up y'all's way. He's yeah. got yep. him in his uh, facility. Yeah. Oh shit! Dog bark. Go ahead. Go ahead. This thing. And so what I like is it's got a um. So can you see that it's got like a low and a high side, so it's like walking on the beach. Okay. Right. So it's like walking up the sand dune. You know how like it's been like walking in the sand for a while, how your calves get like that crazy. That's how it feels like when you're walking on it. You know, you like. But uh, over time, it's it's done a whole lot for my knee. I feel like it's just getting blood in and out of there, so it's really therapeutic. Wow, that's awesome! Yeah, I was so wondering about that thing. So it's sort of like a rehab device. Yeah, yeah. Like most of the places that have it are either sports uh, specific training facilities or like physical therapy places. Okay. And I use it. The hard thing for me was figuring out a way to put it in my training, and I just decided, you know what, I got to do those 40 days, 40 nights. So I started using it um, during my morning cardio, for morning cardio, walking outside. Because wow. our, we had a treadmill, and I would always have to walk on my treadmill at a slight incline because my, if I didn't, my knee would start to give me problems. And running is completely out the window. If I run further than a block, my knees would swell up. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. So now... I can walk on that though, and I don't have those issues. And I actually even like if I do, you know, like I do interviews and stuff. I'll stand on it while I'm doing the interview, as right. opposed to standing on just hard concrete or something. And just the shifting the weight or whatever, that that feels like it's doing something too. I mean, walk, you know, walking is high impact. Uh, you know, I, people don't necessarily really think of it, but you know, your joints it take take a beating. You know, just yeah. walking, especially on a treadmill, like incline treadmill you pound away at that you're, you're gonna feel it yeah. in your ankles your knees your hips especially if you have pre-existing injuries there so that's that's interesting, yeah. that's what, about interesting. The, uh, yeah. uh, what about the stairmaster do you do that no because uh well for one thing i work out at home well actually you live in the atlanta area i live in dallas uh, uh just a, just below carter's up. so i had a i had a uh a stairmaster a while back and then we swapped that out and got uh, um we got a concept two rower, and then we had a treadmill, and I was just burning up the miles on the treadmill. And like I said, I'd have to walk at an incline. I can walk uphill, but there's a certain, even so when I'm squatting, it's funny because a pause squat, even though pause squats are more difficult anyway, there's a certain point in pause squat where my knee hurts a lot more because that's just where uh, the area, the instability is. And so I'm actually better if I go into a full squat or if I just, you know, do like a walkout to just hold the weight. Um, so what I've been doing is a lot of pin squats to try to strengthen that little range of motion, that little part of my range of motion. But to answer your question, even walking up normal steps, there's a point where I'm walking up a normal step and it hurts. And going back down, normal steps hurts. So right. I don't even mess with Stairmasters. Um, it looks goofy when I get on this thing, though, because I get on it, and you just see me, like, doing like this. And you're like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> right. It's like, what's going on here? Right, right, and I'm, right. just, I'm just on this, doing that. That's cool. Right. Uh, That's cool. Uh, Alicia has joined Dirt. In Alicia's in San Francisco. How you did guys you got do together, that? didn't even let any of us know. Was Look that? at that. Look at that. Must be nice to be hanging out in San Francisco, gr <laughs> gr grilling by the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> That's rough. That's a rough life you got there. <laughs> we live there. <laughs> we, we lost him. We lost him. He, he jumped. <laughs> Steve, Steve Scalia, talk to us, man. Talk to us. How's life, bro? Uh, life's life. We're, uh... Let's see the baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Let's see how my oh, phone yeah. Um... Yeah, life's life. West Virginia, we're fully open. Okay. Um, never thought I'd be proud to say I was living in West Virginia. Right. Uh, I'm from West Virginia, Steve. I'm from, from, from New York, <laughs> but uh, living down here. So everything's open. Um, 
no craziness uh, coming back from it. So um, I work in Virginia. So they're still um, starting to open. Gyms opened last Friday officially. Most of them uh, waited until Monday just to start the new week. Uh, shit ton of rules on everything. Uh, mass, 10, uh, 10 feet apart. You have to make an appointment for the gym. Um, hour long sessions and then get your ass out. Uh, barber shops are open. Uh, you can have a couple people in there. You do have to make appointments and you have to wear a mask the whole time you're getting your hair cut. So how does that work? I, I, I don't know if you just got to like let the loop down for a second, get that back there and put it back. I don't, I don't know. This is all, uh, all me. So, uh, <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. So, Keep but, it a little, overall, keep it I mean, low maintenance is it's smart. somewhat, um, back to normal uh, life, but uh, still some regulations even here, just as far as like in, like in restaurant dining is open, uh, but they like move the tables around to where you have some type of social distance and such. Um, but I don't know. Um, I was told on un no uncertain terms based on the amount of money I spent on Facebook marketplace and uh, everything else. That I won't be going back to the gym because you're an idiot if you do. Right. I'm just there you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there's, I think that's a try. I think that's a trend. I think that's more yeah. and more of a trend, you know? Yeah. And uh, you started to find really some folks not being so crazy. Like last, uh, last weekend, um, I met, a, I was on Facebook uh, during like lunch break. And a lady that lives 20 miles south of the building I work in was selling 90 pound dumbbells for 220. And I was like, all right, yeah. not just over the dollar a pound, right? But right. The 250 we've been seeing where that was sure. somewhere near uh, $500. So uh, definitely scoop those up as soon as I could. Nice. Uh, so we're making, we're making progress with the gym down there. Uh, pretty much done. I get the look of death every time another box shows up. <laughs> And the last, the last big thing cost me a couch since the wife wanted a new couch. And if I could get a new um, hack squat, there was no doubt that I needed a couch as well. Ne also. Negotiating it, negotiating yeah. your way there. I get it. I understand. That's what it, that's what it, that's what it comes down to. Y'all yeah. got to give me tours of your gyms. What's that? I'm realizing there's an untapped resource here. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, man, so especially it, and that and that that mar that, uh, that market has grown in terms of people who are building their home gyms yeah. exponentially in the past few months. I love looking at people's like setups and stuff. It gives you ideas. Of course, right, I'll take some pictures. I'll shoot them over to you. Antonio. Yo, how's Queens, man? How how's how's life there? How how have things changed? I mean, I know it's 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 tumultuous tumultuous times right after following everything that's been going on with COVID. How, how are things? How are things there? Well, you just gotta avoid as avoid as many uh, situations as you can because there are so many people outside being reckless and doing random stuff that you just gotta be careful. Right. Um. Yeah. With the with the three boys. I found a little park off the conduit that no one goes to. So they get to ride their bikes around. They get to play in the dirt. Nice. Play football. They get to do all that stuff. Uh, nice. That's, that's really all I've been focusing on is them. Making yeah. sure that their sanity is taken care of before mine. Right, right, right. Now, how's your sanity? <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah we, I, we, we all are. I can really see yeah, that. I I got a call from MNSF today. He wants me to uh, help him rebuild over there for a couple of days a week. Nice. So, yeah, nice. I'm thinking about. So I'm gonna be there Saturdays, Mondays, and Tuesdays. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Trying to trying to help him out again because he's uh he's been closed since this started. Wow. Yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. I can yeah, imagine, so I, that, and you, I mean, you put, I mean, in, at least in my world, you put that place on the map, so. Yeah, I mean, it, I've, I've always tried to help. He has his own ways of doing things, so hopefully sure. this time, with us coming back together, he'll actually listen to some ideas I have. Sure. Which I'm hoping. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I met um, Schwartz over there. Your big Joe Schwartz, yeah, of course. Yeah, is he, is he still on? I don't think he is at the moment. I think we lost him. Yeah, me and Swatch used to kick it like once a week. Awesome dude, man. Real, He's real great. cool dude. He's yeah. great people, man. He's great people. He's great people. I see uh I, I, did Thomas Monk just go get a shake? 
What, what, what are you doing there, man? I, uh, I, I, I think I think Steve Scalia was eating. Ah, see, I see, I think Steve Scalia was eating the whole time too. Was, was. Were you eating? Of course. Always. <laughs> always. Somebody, somebody's trying to get big over here. Somebody's trying to get big. What, what, what are you eating, Thomas Monk? I know that you you are very precise with your nutrition at all times. Um, so I'm actually right now I'm dieting for the next month because I've been. Uh, so I recently joined. Um, my coaching business with another coach. So I'm now coaching with uh, Tomanac Training. He's okay. out of Ohio. Okay. So there's five of us. So I'm going down to uh, Ohio in July for a week. And they want to do like a bunch of content and stuff like that. So just trying to like pull a couple pounds off real quick and try to nice. tighten up just to get some um, professional photos done. So right now I just got beef, rice, and veggies. And then um, with everybody else, I mean, I started putting a little home gym together. I bought a uh, trap bar yesterday. Former client of mine hit me up. They said they were selling it for 60 bucks. I looked it up online. It retails for 250. So I was like, didn't yeah, even, course, didn't even think about it. Like just done, yeah. sent to the Venmo. And then um, I'm just scout. Like I'm interested in trying to get a Bowflex. Right, right, sure. Because I saw what um, Brad Rowe did in like his little gym. Yeah. Yo, that yo, but that that bow flex is like a ten thousand dollar bow flex. Oh yeah, but uh, <laughs> Brad Rose flexing. <laughs> so I looked, I looked one up online, and there's some dude like two towns over for me that's selling. Um, it's like a PR three thousand or something like that. It's like a thousand dollar bow flex. He's selling it for. So I'm trying to work him down because I know him from high school. <laughs> so. I'm trying to get, like, work every angle you can. Yeah, so like I'm trying to get it for like 450, maybe 400 if he goes for it. So outside of that, just pulling everything out of the garage and putting it in the driveway every day, and then putting it back in. That's awesome, man. That's Yo, beautiful. but Tom, Tom, aren't your gyms open? So they open next week, but from what I heard, like the big corporate gym, like the Edge Fitness Clubs, that like it's really around here. Yeah. After you're required to wear a mask the entire time, you can't spot anybody else, and you have to stay within like four to six feet away from everyone. Yeah, um, I haven't seen what the stipulations are at um, Montaneri Brothers yet. Yeah, I saw I saw someone post about it, that, but I saw actually Gordon Falsetti. Yeah, he's a trainer there, and he said he's taking on clients. Yeah, whatever so, that whatever that means. I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna see what happens next week. But you're not you're not that far from there, right? No, I'm not that far. I'm maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Oh, oh so, I didn't realize you're that close. Yeah, I'm literally. Like and then what about what about where Tuttle goes somewhere else too? That's a dope gym, though. So Tuttle goes to Universal, Universal? Which yeah, is in Waterbury. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there a few times. It's a small yeah. facility, so I don't know what their stipulations are gonna be. Got it. So, I mean, depending, like, because it's summertime, like, that's a half hour, maybe 40 minutes. Like, uh, I, would do the, I would do the drive just because yeah. it's summertime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like, if there's going to be a bunch of stipulations where, like, you have to make an appointment, you have to wear a mask, like. Yeah, that's I'll crazy. Just, like, I'll just spend the extra few hundred dollars, get something to get me through the summer. There, yeah. And then just, like, go from there. Because right now I have a pair of power blocks. I have dumbbells up to 85. I have um, a squat rack. I have dip bars. I just bought that hex bar. And then I have about like 500 pounds in plates. So it's like, I have more than enough to get me by. But if I could get just like a bow flex for just some cables and stuff like that, like, yeah, make it. Yeah, yeah. Those are dope. I, I actually have, I, I like the bow flex. Yeah. Crazy. Oh. We'll see. We, we are coming up on uh, one hour, so uh, we want it for the sake of brevity, since this is our first time doing this, um, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, what I wanted to let you guys know is that uh, we have the new 4040 shirt that's going to drop tomorrow, but then we also have many things in the works. We are working hard. It's going to be, Sko, how would you characterize the coming month to six weeks? I mean, we've had we've been working on some things that are all going to arrive at the same time. So I'd say the next like two months, there will be uh, some new items. It will be prolific. Exciting new things for everyone. It could be a and, prolific. Uh, come, we're trying to come out of quarantine on fire. Is the idea right? right? Is this going to be a hot girl summer? It might be. 
<laughs> That's what we were going to call it, to be honest. <laughs> Hashtag hot girl summer. <laughs> That's our whole campaign right there. Wait, I have a question. I saw you you changed the um the three year anniversary thing. You changed it to July. We have to keep, well, we keep, we keep pushing it back. You know, we keep pushing it back. I know, I know. So. Does that mean we're doing that July 11th, or you don't know if it's going? We're, ho we're hoping so, yeah. I mean, remember, it was at the end of March. Yeah. And then we pushed it to, like, something in April. And then we pushed it to June. So uh, what Nicole's talking about is that we, we have our three-year anniversary at Wolf Fitness, which was Bringing Beat Fitness Center, which is sort of like the core in, in the history of our brand. And we um, – have been planning it. It was supposed to be in March every year, which is the three-year anniversary, but we kept pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. So uh, we, the, the most recent update we got in terms of a day that we can do it is July 11th. So it's still be here. Otherwise, it's going to be July 11th. We're hoping that the gyms in New Jersey are open by then and that we can pull something like that off in a, in a reasonably you know, accommodating way. So that's the plan. Isn't that amazing? So, so fingers crossed. You know. So I want to thank you guys. Does anybody have any any questions or anything like that before we go? I saw Bobby Kaufman ask about cream soda vice. Was that a vote for cream soda vice I saw? Yes, it's a nasty one. Second. Root beer. Second. I mean, I, we, we, love, we love ideas like that. A root beer is one of those that we've – wanted for a long time. I know there's some root beer uh, like uh, advocates here, some diehard root beer types. So like we would love to do that. Um, so is that is that Naomi? Is that Naomi? It is. Hi, Hello. sweetie. How are you? Nice to see you. Just got back from a, bike, a cycle. Oh, uh, nice to see you. Um, so yeah, so that would be something that we would love to do. Absolutely, like a, a root beer, a cream soda, yeah. something like that. You know, the original ice were all soda flavor, so. Uh, anytime we can go back to that well and deliver something awesome, we would love that. So, for sure. Um, so, we're going to try to orchestrate one of these again when we have something fun and exciting going on, something worthwhile that's worth you guys' time. Uh, but we're very excited and, and thankful and appreciative that you guys uh, decided to come and hang out for our first ever. So, um, let's, let's do this again sometime soon. I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Stay strong. Stay safe. I see the Bash Brothers. Are they headed to train? I think they are. Yeah. I'm inspired just seeing them. Um, but uh, thank you guys for everything that you do to support the brand, to spread the word on the brand, to believe in what we're doing. It means the world to us. Sco, you got anything else to say, my man? No, that's it, man. 48, 40 nights. Yo, post anything, guys. Anything you're working on where we're at, we'll, we'll repost it. Absolutely. As yeah. always. We love that. And, yeah. Uh, Take care of yourselves. Miss you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. I made I made hey. sort of an, I made on my own Instagram today. I made sort of like a, a, a forty days and forty nights post just on like various things that I've been up to like over the course of the day, like trying to stay on point with everything. Uh, and I'm gonna try to do more of that in terms of like just documenting my process. Um, so any of you guys who are like you know who are on board with forty days and forty nights and you're trying to you know. Um, convey like what you're doing and what your process looks like on a daily basis. That's like worthwhile and inspiring stuff. So please share that with us. Yes. All right. I see the big Asian, big Asian. We miss you. We need you back in the flesh. We need to see more of you in our lives. Yeah. For real. For real, That's right? A That's a fact. All right, guys. So thank you again. We will be doing this again soon. Please stay in touch with us. Please let us know anything you need. And thank you for being the, the lifeblood, the heart and soul of this brand. You mean the world to us. Thank you, Jay. All right, guys. All right. All right. Have a good night, guys. Yep. Everybody be Bye. good. Bye. Peace.